Ever dreamed of creating breathtaking AI animated films effortlessly? Imagine generating stunning anime with just one AI tool, no complex setups, no hassle. Today, I will show you how Global GPT brings your ideas to life in minutes. Can I pull it off or will I crash and burn? Let's find out. Stick around till the end so you can do it too. Let's go. The tool we are using is called Global GPT. Open a browser and search for Global GPT. Then, simply enter the website. I'll also provide the link in the description box. From here, click on Model. Then click on Chat for the premium version of Artificial Intelligence. You'll see a lot of premium options like ChatGPT, DeepSeek, and other tools. From here, I'm selecting ChatGPT 4.5 Preview. Once you're in, just type, Hey ChatGPT, I want to create a 3D animated story for kids in a Pixar style. Can you suggest some title ideas? And press enter. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT will give us some story title ideas. Go through them and pick the one you like best. Once you pick a story title, just copy it from there. Now write, I've chosen the title. Can you help me create an original and engaging script for the story? I'm planning to make a YouTube video based on this, so please divide it into scenes and provide an image prompt for each one. To keep the character's profile consistent throughout the story, use this structure. Character name, age, gender, hairstyle, face description, outfit details, top, bottom, footwear, background description, and action. Also, give me a motion prompt for each image for image to video generation. Once you write that, just hit enter and ChatGPT will provide all the detailed prompts for the scenes and for image and video generation. After ChatGPT provides the full prompt, review it carefully and then simply copy the entire text. Now paste the full prompt into Google Docs or anywhere you prefer. Then just remove the parts you don't need, like I'm doing here. All right, the script is all set. Take a look, it keeps the character consistent too. Now let's move on to image generation. Now, open a new tab and search for Global GPT. Head to the website just like before. Click on Model, then select Image from the top menu. Here you'll see a variety of image generation tools. Pick whichever one you like. I'm going with Flux. Now, switch back to Google Docs and copy the first image generation prompt, but make sure you don't include the motion prompt. Paste it into the Flux description box, set the image resolution to 16.9, and just click Generate. In just a few seconds, your image will be ready. Okay, take a look. It looks great. If you'd like, you can regenerate it to explore more options. Just hit Generate, and it'll create the image again. Then you can choose the one you like best. I think you've got the idea. Now, head back to Google Docs and copy the second prompt. Paste it into the Flux description box and hit Generate, just like we did before. And in just a few seconds, the image will be generated beautifully. If you want, you can regenerate it, but I'm sticking with this one. Now, just repeat the same process for all the scenes. Copy the prompt from Google Docs, paste it into the Flux description box, and if you don't like the result, regenerate it. Otherwise, keep it. I'll speed up the rest so we can get the video ready to go live. Once all the images are generated, click on each one, then click Save to download it to your device. Make sure to save all the images from here. Then, simply number all the images to keep the story consistent, just like I did. All right, now it's time to generate the video. Click on Model, then select Video from the top menu. You'll see two options, Luma and Runway. I prefer Runway, so go ahead and click on that. Now, click on Select Image and choose the first image you downloaded from Flux. Here you'll see Describe Image, that's the Image Motion Prompt. To fill it, go back to Google Docs, find the Image Motion section, copy the prompt, and paste it into this box. Now, make sure to set the video duration to 5 seconds instead of 10. I'm leaving the other settings, like Video Model, Speed, and Resolution, at their default values. Once everything's ready, just hit Export. It might take around 30 seconds, and your video will be generated. Take a look at the video. It looks amazing, right? Now, upload the second image, and just like before, copy the second motion prompt from Google Docs and paste it into the runway description box. Keep the same settings as before, and hit Generate. 
In just a few seconds, your video will be ready. Now take a look at the video. It's just as awesome as the last one, haha. -ha. Runway really does an amazing job. Now, just repeat the same process for the rest. If a video doesn't turn out well, simply regenerate it. Otherwise, keep it and go ahead and generate all 12 scenes. I hope you've got the process down. It's super easy, right? Haha. -ha. I've sped up the video generation part so it doesn't get boring. Once all your videos are generated, it's time to download them. To do that, just click on the video you want, then hit Save to Download, or click the three-dot icon and select Download. It'll be saved directly to your device. Now, once all 12 videos are downloaded, make sure to number them. It helps keep the story consistent and makes everything easier to manage. For the voiceover, go to ChatGPT from Global GPT and type this prompt. Okay, now I want the story background voiceover. The video length is one minute, so give me the correct voiceover according to the vision. Then just hit enter. In a few seconds, ChatGPT will generate the perfect voiceover in text form. Simply copy it. Now, to convert the text into voice, we'll use 11 Labs. So go ahead and open 11 Labs and sign in with your account from here. From the left panel, select Text to Speech, and in the text box, paste the voiceover text we copied from ChatGPT. Now, click on Voice from the right panel and choose any voice you like. You can also explore the voice library. There are tons of options. Once you've picked a voice, you can adjust the speed and other settings if needed, but I'm keeping them at default. When you're ready, just hit Generate. In a few moments, the voice will be ready. In a quaint village where dreams spark like morning dew. And look, it's perfect for a one-minute video. Simply download it from here. For video editing, we're using CapCut. After opening CapCut, click on Import. Select all the story video clips and click Open. Now extend all the video clips on the editing timeline and arrange them sequentially. Since our video clips were already in order, we don't need to adjust them. Now, if you zoom into the video, you'll notice some empty space on the left and right sides. To fix that, set the video ratio to 16:9, then stretch each video scene, just like I'm doing here. That'll align everything perfectly. All right, it's done. Take a look. Everything's stretched perfectly, and it's looking great. Now upload the story voiceover. Import T a voiceover file and place it beneath the video clips on the timeline. Then adjust the video clips to match the voiceover. Now, to boost video engagement, you can add effects. There are plenty to choose from, transitions, filters, and color adjustments. You can apply them to each video scene individually or to the entire video. All right, guys, now for captions. Just click on Caption and hit Generate. In just a moment, your captions will be ready. To apply a template, click on a caption text, then select Template from the right panel. Now, Choose a template from here. There are plenty available. I'm going with this one. I think it suits the story well. Now, simply customize the font, like changing it to uppercase, adjusting the color, size, and any other style you prefer. There are plenty of options here, so tweak them to make it look even better. For background sound, go to the audio section and search for Kids Story. Hit Enter, and you'll find tons of background music to choose from. From here, I'm choosing this background music. Just click the plus icon to add it to the timeline. Make sure it's placed below the main voiceover and then simply trim the rest to match the length of the main story video. Once that's done, lower the background music volume to around minus 20 dBs and increase the main voice track to about plus five dBs. I think that balance works well. Just make sure everything sounds clear. If you wanna add extra background sound effects, just type what you're looking for in the music or sound effects search bar, then add them, like this. Turning to his village beneath a tapestry of starlight. Looks and sounds cool, right? I'm not gonna go into full detail in this video. It's already getting long. I'll cover more in the next one. For now, once everything's done, just hit export, make sure the resolution is set to 4K and hit generate. In just a few moments, your video will be saved to your device. All right, guys, now let's check out the final look. In a quaint village where dreams spark like morning dew, a brave young soul named Aiden discovers an ancient map that whispers of a faraway land. 
With the light of curiosity in his eyes, he steps beyond familiar paths into an enchanted forest where every leaf tells a secret. Through meadows shimmering with magic, Aiden encounters dancing forest spirits and listens to the wise oak's riddle, guiding him over a glistening river and up a mountain wrapped in echoes. In a quiet cave of reflections, he sees his inner strength mirrored back, readying him for the storm that tests his courage. As lightning fades, the brave heart rises triumphant, returning to his village beneath a tapestry of starlight. His journey becomes a reminder that even the smallest spark of bravery can light the darkest skies.